and <laughs> actually talking to himself a little bit over there. Maybe just psyching himself up, getting ready to jump into this. <laughs> Why does does maybe? <laughs> I think actually he was literally saying out loud before typing it. Why? Why does Desro play medium? But uh, we are going to be hopping into this and introducing the players as we spawn up here in the top right hand corner of the map, on top of the very rambunctious Protoss player in orange. Give it up for Huck. Representing evil geniuses. Oh, he's rapping. That's what he's doing. I am spawning in the top left position. From the team size storm, it is the Red Zerg, no regret. Oh, so. rap battle. My name is Jake. Think you can out rap me? Oh, that didn't rhyme. It did not. I'm uh, sorry, Chris. I gotta call you out on that. They one. both lose. Hard. Yeah. I mean, okay, unless they're unless they're individually trying to rap. Good point. Yeah. I don't know, Slim Shady. The real Slim Shady. We do see. Uh, we do see the first probe coming across the map. Uh, it is, they call me OP Shady. Oh, God. Wow. A little bit of self-deprecating humor there from No Regret. Uh, yeah. The, both of these guys are very, very fun guys. Yeah, very they, chill, actually. they're not afraid to poke yeah. fun at themselves. I like that. But, you know, whenever we're in a game with No Regret, we always have to talk about the early game. We always have to talk about how they're opening. Because we do have something I did not expect. Uh, a hatch first out of No Regret. Followed up by you know gas then pool, which is I would as I would say a lot of people consider like not the most hyper aggressive opening. That's the thing. It uh it's good against a lot of potential for for example two gate adept openings. Mm -hmm. Um, it lets you get those zerglings and speed out pretty quickly. But it also allows you to uh, potentially be aggressive, especially on a map like Runes of Saras, where you're going to be having to build a. Uh, really big wall off at your ramp at your uh, sorry natural ramp absolutely and maybe he's just mixing things up because actually if you take a look at their history uh, against each other then you can actually see yes is in fact a 90 percent win rate for huck and i want to note it says nine wins one loss in this uh between these two players but that's map score and steadfast i want to say huck actually that one loss was the wcs circuit championship about a month ago that is the only map No Regret has taken off of Huck in competitive series. Wow, that's a that's a really uphill battle for No Regret. Uh, it is, and that's the thing about No Regret. He plays a very aggressive, and I think, oh, I'm not even gonna, you know, color it any other way. Very cheesy style, and he even very much owns up to that. But. That also means that in some ways he is a little bit predictable. Players will play a little bit more defensively against him. And you can even see on a map like Runza Seros where that those gateways, that wall, that ramp is so far away from your nexus, Puck still goes for that traditional wall up at the ramp and says, I know that if I'm more expecting aggression, it's going to be in the early game. But whoa, this, this hatchery, this third, I mean, as we do see the depth trying to poke around and everything, the third expansion from Doraga is really throwing me for a loop. Yeah, that's a very aggressive expansion. We actually see Huck, oh wow, barely Ooh. getting out with that Adept. This actually might be confusing Huck just a little bit. Not seeing, oh, oh he is no, gonna see it knows. with a shade. Very good good awareness from Huck. He, he recognizes his opponent and he's gonna be able to do that. But yeah, as you were saying, we see a very defensive opening from Huck going for four gates at the natural. And I don't think he's gonna be aggressive with these. I think this is just because of who he's playing. And good on, no regret. Ooh bit of a mistake there loses a few more zerglings than maybe he should but yeah. that that it happens it's uh it's getting late you know sometimes some yeah. of the small mistakes will happen at one of these events i like that adept that's just hidden there going to be able yeah. to potentially catch a couple transferring drones very cute and uh, may even force out a couple of additional zerglings or oh, something oh this is nice from huck he's Ooh. going for a dark shrine as well as resonating glaives you know there's two Protoss players, I will say, you can always expect a Dark Shrine from. It's Peely Peely and Huck. Yes. But uh, first, as you said, Resonating Glaive is going to be useful for all these Adepts. But let's see if he can keep these Adepts alive long enough. There's 10 Roaches going to be popping out soon, but they're that not here just forward. yet. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a really scary attack, actually, for Huck. This could do a lot of drone damage. And we're at equal worker supply right now, so any drone losses are really crucial. Ooh, does actually phase into the two Roaches. Yeah. But still going to be able to target down the depths. Already killing eight drones. Wow. Getting a lot of damage done. And more adepts coming on into the natural expansion. The roach is immediately going to dart over there. Eleven drones have gone down so far. 
Nice couple more position micro there from No Regret. Ooh, a couple more going down, but of course this is all just buying time for that Dark Shrine to finish up for Huck and also the Resonating Glaze upgrade. So even though he's not keeping a lot of the Adepts alive, he keeps a couple of them. He's going to be at least safe for some of the counterattack potential, but is No Regret going to just get fed up with it and go across the map? This is one of the reasons why he might grab one of those aggressive third expansions, because he can move to his opponent's side of the map very easily. Well, there is a spore at the natural guarding the entrance, but is there one at the third? He might not be prepared for an attack. It looks like there is. A, is there one in the middle line? I don't believe so. No, just that one spore crawler at the natural. And oh, Dark Templars. Huck is marching to Dark Templar into that third base. I think they're just going to be able to target down the hatch if they so choose. Yeah, going to go after that queen, just to cut down on anything. Oh, oh immediately overseer, overseer yeah, being made. very quick reaction time. I Let's like that. Let's just retreat a little bit instead of going for it. And, you know, that does buy a time for another warping, but I actually think that Huck is more than fine over here back at home with resonating glaives finish up. These adepts should be able to easily take on those roaches. In fact, these roaches may have to deal with the Dark Templars as they retreat back home. Yeah, and Huck smartly recognizing there's overseers on the map. Not yeah. going to try that. Actually, just going to morph straight into an Archon. And we're actually going to see Archon Immortal uh, with Adepts. Uh, wow, into a third base, though. Uh, but if we look at Huck's worker supply, he's actually very ahead. No regret. Uh, he did not drone up enough behind that mm -hmm. to put himself back in the game after losing those 12 drones. You know, I think that No Regret, he was making so many roaches because he had to deal with Adepts in multiple locations. You never know where those Adepts are going to uh, be after the Shades either get cancelled or complete. So you have to build enough roaches that you can defend in multiple locations, and that means that he built a lot of supply that really wasn't able to do any kind of aggression besides taking out the harassment that was coming out of Huck. So I'm still a little bit worried because No Regret is kind of saying, you know what? It's fine that I didn't draw it up, because I'm not planning to. I'm making more roaches, and I'm going to bust down your third expansion. But will he actually be able to get up enough units to do that with so many of these immortals, with the adepts, the sentries all popping out for Huck? Huck's got to be pretty pleased uh, scouting the main base. He's going to recognize that without that gas taken, there probably is an attack coming. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he... Oh, wow. This actually could be very bad for Huck. He's oh. gearing up to go towards uh, No Regrets third, and he's actually completely out of position. This is Ripple Pylon case. Overcharge. Yeah, it's going to buy a little bit of time as the pylons are getting focused right down instead of the Nexus. And, you know, I guess it would have been pretty close if you tried to go for the oh, Nexus, but oh, beautiful force fields. paying the price for going for this, loses so many of those roaches, and Huck is potentially going to catch even more of them oh, with a couple wow. of more force fields. If there's something you can expect out of Huck, it is good force fields. Absolutely, and really displaying those right there, taking a big supply lead over No Regret. We look at the army supply and worker supply massively favoring Huck. I mean, oh, and another nice force oh. field catches quite a few more roaches. I mean, how does No Regret recover from this? GG gets called, he says he doesn't. And Huck maintains his massive, massive map score lead over No Regret. Over 90% now. Over Apparently 90%. Protoss sucks, man. <laughs> Apparently, No Regret will only ever take that one game off of Huck. Yeah, for he can he could have doubled his efficiency against Huck, but no such luck. Not against Huck. Not against Huck. Looks Man, like maybe you cuck. should rap. <laughs> maybe. Uh, At least it's not Puck. Ooh. I, I don't know. Could Puck? I could see. I good. could see Puck rap. Right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, that was that was quick. Yeah. I like that. I'm better Tuck. Yeah. Uh, so we got we're gonna be going into the replay. Take a look at that. Uh, I like this play from Huck. It's normally No Regret who is the one who is taking the bull by the horns, but it was actually Huck who was controlling the tempo of that game. Mm -hmm. He was the one who was deciding where the fighting was happening, when he was attacking. Only The only time that No Regret got to dictate that was at the end, when he, he was effectively all in, all in because of how... Huck had played out the early game. Yeah, Huck had just played it out very safe with that kind of wall in at the front to make sure that he wouldn't die to any kind of early Zergling shenanigans or anything like that. But yeah. then he just made sure he never gave No Regret the opportunity to be aggressive in any other way with the Adepts, like you were saying. And I mean, we can see these Adepts are just focused and specifically not even fighting the Roaches. Good focus fire on the drones to try and limit that economy because, of course, No Regret had a lot more workers before yeah. those Adepts came in. Yeah. Uh, honestly, from Huck, I would have preferred, I think, if he'd canceled those shades and just mm -hmm. left them at the natural. There were still a lot yeah. of drones there. Uh, but we did actually see the DTs come in, and an interesting decision from Huck. I think it was probably the right one. That Overseer was nearly finished up. Mm -hmm. 
decides to just stay home, sees that there's no yeah. drones there. No Regret's not in a great shape at that point, so no. he doesn't really need to snipe that base. It's just Larva. Yeah, and at this point, this is where the final, it seemed like it was going to go very well for No Regret, but the triple foot turnover charges, I actually kind of wonder, it's one of those what-if situations, maybe we'll resume from replay someday, and see, if you just target fire down the Nexus, could Huck have really punished him in time? I, I think he could have. I don't know that he could have. Um, maybe, I think a good move from No Regret would have been sending six or seven roaches forward into the left, up into the left, and then having everything else just target down the Nexus and just run back home. Maybe maybe get uh, uh, Tunneling Claws and yeah. Burrow behind that. That would have been great. Yeah. But I think, yeah, just a little bit too impacted as an economy. Wasn't really able to afford it. Huck, of course... Pretty happy with how everything was going, as you can see. Getting a good old smile. Yeah, that Huck, a, that classic Huck smirk. Yeah. And you know what? I, I feel like Huck would also be the player. You know, they're both good friends. Both live in the Toronto area, hang out and talk a lot and everything. Yeah. I feel like they probably know that No Regret has only taken one map off of Huck. Uh, I'm going to bet that if Huck knows, then No Regret knows. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And if the table was returned, if it was like Huck, who was unable to take maps off of No Regret, you know... That if No Regret knew, Huck yeah, would know. Yeah, Huck would know, exactly. Yeah, yeah they yeah. would be told. Yes. Repeatedly. Yep. Uh, on Twitter. Yeah, on, on Twitter. Facebook. Twitter. On uh, Facebook. Yeah. Remax, if it was still around. Yep. Uh, which is not. No. But, you know. Poor Desro. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be hopping into our 